Boys and girls, <clears throat> we have recently done a very, very fun vintage box opening going by the title by the name of First Edition Neo Discovery. And what a box it was, all right? An absolute blast opening that box, pulling all the crazy hollows in there. And speaking of hollows, I sent out all the hollows for all the breakers to be graded. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. We have 12 hollows, I believe, here. As you can see, all of them have also been pedigreed for them to kind of remember this, uh, you know, box opening, right? This memory right here with Island Grown X Discovery 2022. I wish I could put first edition Neo Discovery Island Grown stream on Twitter, but it doesn't fit, right? So Island Grown X Discovery 2022. First one we pulled was an Ursa Ring, boys and girls. Look at this. Starting off with... Nine, five. Nope. I got you baited. It's a 10! <laughs> oh my god, dude! With subgrades, by the way. With subgrades. If you know what I'm talking about, and the difficulties of getting 10s with CGC, with subgrades. 10. Watsy. First edition. Hollow. Oh my god, dude. Oh, the Hounder. Dude, this card is so hard to get in a high grade. Right? And I remember it having this. Look at that. It looks like a double swirl. You see that? Almost looks like a double swirl. It's looking at the swirl as well. First edition Houndor. Oh my gosh, that is close. Gemmin95.5 from a, CG, a CGC 10. I think this card would do a, would have a pretty good chance crossing into a PSA 10, my friend. All right, what do we got here? Third hollow of the box was a, oh, Scizor. Look at that scratch. Yeah, growing up, I every time I saw this scratch, I thought it was actually a scratch on the card. Silly me, right? It's just part of the artwork. All right, Scizor with a swirl. What do we got here? What do we got here? Another Gemmin 9.5? Okay! 0.5 from a 10! Oh my god, dude! Okay, okay! Beautiful, beautiful, my friend! Okay, I mean, I'm loving these grades, bro! We take these, baby! We definitely take these! When you submit cards from the Watsi or Wizards of the Coast era, especially for the Neos era, first Ed Hollows here, you, you hope you get like 9s, and that's like, pretty good! You know what I mean? But 9.5s? That's great! 10s? Absolutely nutty, alright? So a strong 9.5 is definitely going to be up there, man. Beautiful. Wow, so a 10 and a couple of 9.5 so far. Really good start. Smear goal. All of these have swirls. You guys see that? Love this uh, Love this artwork here. This is the iconic Smear goal. The Pokemon never, nobody ever used. <clears throat> Sorry for all the Smear goal collectors out there. But uh, anyways, let's see what we got in this one here. Ooh, like I said, you could get a 9 in one of those, right? Still double 10 subgrade. Still a gem mint 9.5, right? Just that centering's been having some issues here. But, you know, typically within a box, you're going to see some very consistent condition of cards within the same box. So it definitely makes sense. We'll take another gem mint 9.5. I take gem mint 9.5s all day, dude. What else do we pull? Oh, the Houndoom. Okay, so we had the Houndoom. Now we got the Houndoom, okay? First edition Houndoom here. Right, again, you can see the issue with a little bit of centering in this box. Yeah, top is thinner than the bottom being a little bit thicker. So I'm assuming it's probably a 9 or 9.5 for centering. Our first mint 9. Again, we've been spoiled that now when we see a 9, we're like, eh, right? It's actually 0.5 for being a gem in 9.5. So that's actually really, really solid, right? Even the lowest grade we've seen so far is really, really solid, dude, right? 0.5 for being a gem in 9.5. We'll take that. Interesting that that one has uh, pretty noticeable print lines considering how uh, how dark the hollow is. Hit mo top. Okay, here we go. Definitely iconic. Another gem mint 9.5, baby. 9.5, 10, 9.95. We'll take it. All right, we got a 10 subgrade in here. Beautiful. All right, the start of a swirl right by the head, too. Beautiful, beautiful. Hit mo top. What's next? Polyrath. Okay. All right, iconic. All right, fighting type. A lot of the other polyrats you see are usually water type, so it's kind of cool. All right, obviously it's a fighting water type, but or water fighting type, but kind of see, uh, kind of cool to see it as a fighting type in this card here. Another nine five. Okay, we'll take it. Ten subgrade on surface on this one here. All right, we will take a nine five. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gem mid nine fives for days, man. We're smashing this, bro. I like this, man. I really like this. Wabafet. first edition. Neo Discovery Wabafet. Take a 9.5, right? Triple 9.5, 9 for the surface there. Gemmin 9.5, first edition Wabafet, baby. 
Nice suit, nice suit! Nice suit, nice suit. We can see that print line again there. You see that? There's that one print line going through. You see, I see that right there? Right? Other than that, this was it. That's what makes it so difficult sometimes to get high grades on certain cards. So great. Oh, one of my favorite Kabutops artworks. Look at that. How dope is that? Underwater Kabutops. Right? This kind of vice versa. Most of the times we see Kabutops is usually like a fighting type, right? Yeah, but in this one, it's a water type. It's a shellfish Pokemon. All right, let's see. First edition Kabutops. A second 10? Okay! Pristine 10! First, this gotta be a pop one as well! Oh my god, of a beautiful artwork. All right, obviously not gonna be as popular of a Pokemon as like Umbreon or Espeon, right? But, I mean, beautiful artwork. All right, to get any Watsy first and as a pristine 10 is ridiculous. Oh yeah, dude! Magnemite. <laughs> I, who got, I think this might have been Fox who got this one. Fox 808 who got this one here. I don't remember. All right, you joined in for this vintage here. Magnemite. All right, here we go. 9.5. 0.5 from a pristine 10. Okay. 0.5 from a pristine 10, baby. You'll love to see it. We'll take that. This is card number 11 here. And I know what card this is. What is that? If you missed the first edition Neo Discovery opening, you gotta watch that video. This is the Error Creased Umbreon. With like a triple freaking swirl, dude. Alright? So the story behind this is we literally opened it from the pack and it came creased. This is probably only the second time I have ever seen this happen, right? Where a card comes out of a pack and it's creased. Absolutely insane. Like, why did it have to be on a hollow? Why did it have to be on this card? And the crazier thing of why we know this is a factory error, I mean, obviously we opened it straight for the pack. No other cards, no other pack had this issue, right? But the way we know, look at this. How do you have a crease on the back that has no visibility on the front? Look carefully. You tell me, right? So, I mean, it's kind of cool in the sense that there's a crease. I mean, that's not really cool, though. But it's kind of cool in the sense where it's an error, right? But, I, I mean, you, you you tell me. You try to go crease a card and only crease it on one side. You know what I mean? Like, bro. Right? And the front was so nice, man. I remember this This was for uh, Pokey Front, right? I'm still really happy. I mean, there's going to be a lot of memories behind this card. Just that crease, though, man. That's so crazy. Some guy at the factory back in the day was like, I hate Umbreon's. And like, <laughs> creased it before they put the put the layers of the cards together. I don't know, dude. That's so nuts. And the coolest part about this card is the freaking swirls. Look at that. It literally looks like a triple swirl. You see that clump right there? Like, I have rarely ever seen, like, triple swirls like that. Look how crazy that is. Such a sick card, man. I mean, this is one of the best cards in the whole set. It's just unfortunate. All right, well, another thing we wanted to kind of gauge was and kind of know is with a crease like that, what kind of grade will we expect to get, right? This is maybe good for you out there too, right? You're like, ooh, I got a very good looking card. It just has a crease. What would it pro possibly grade as? Let's see. 5.5. 5.5. And as you can see there, like I told you guys, when you get a crease, you're going to instantly go down to like a 5, right? Instantly go down to 5. You can see they graded the surface as a 4.5. But look at the damn subgrades! 9.5 centering! 9.5 corners! Nine five edges. That's so crazy, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, I believe this is the last card that we have here. It's the last hollow. Oh my god, it was back to back, wasn't it? This box was cracked. Aside from that error crease in the back of the Umbreon, this box was cracked. Espeon and Umbreon. Wow. Compensate us, give us a 10 here. Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> I would have almost rather you give me straight nine fives. How, dude? That's so blue ball, dude. Point five from a pristine ten. Oh, the pain, dude! Come on, bro. Right, but as you know, right, looking at this card here, CGC nine five, double nine five, double ten subgrades has a very good shot. Nothing, nothing's ever guaranteed, right? But pretty sure very good shot and ve you, you know that this card you have here is a psa 10 quality right in terms of their standards for sure man right beautiful beautiful card dude
all in all, a absolutely insane, uh, absolutely insane uh, opening. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this CDC reveal. Like I said, we'll keep doing more of these uh, these box openings and gradings and CDC reveals. They're always really, really exciting. All right, so first edition new discovery was uh, was fun. All right, definitely some really nice grades. I think this overall submission was pretty solid, pretty good. Not, I'm not gonna be solid. Solid is probably an understatement, dude. All right, we got two tens out of there. Right, everything mold majority was all nine fives with great subgrades. This was awesome, man. Absolutely awesome. All right, but yeah, let me know. Hopefully, we can keep doing these and keep doing more CGC reveals. All right, nice suit. I love these. Absolutely love these, dude. That's so crazy. All right, let me put this on the side here. Okay, boys and girls. <clears throat> Wait, there's one more in the box. Oh my god, I totally forgot! This was a 13 hollow box! Oh my god! I- Oh my god, I totally forgot. Dude, th you thought this box was good? You thought the hollows were great? You thought the conditions were good? This was a 13 hollow box? Oh my god, I totally forgot! Right, and guess what? Oh my god, now I remember. Why? Oh, this is, this is terrible. The person who got this extra hollow, right, ended up being- We put on the wheel, we rolled it. Freaking rolled Fox 808, dude. Out of everybody, they had to give it to him. Freaking- why lit fuck? Hey, what's up, Fox? How you doing, man? 13 hollow box. Gem mid 9.5. Of course. Can't be lower, right? 10 subgrid and edges. Gem mid 9.5. Tyranitar. No way this gets a tattoo. dude. You're pretty damn close, bro. You know what I'm saying? Pretty damn close, bro. God damn.